Hello there, my name is Karen and I am back again to tell you about the Apple Classroom app today. The Classroom app is a versatile teaching assistant that puts teachers in charge of every iPad in the classroom so they can keep students on track. As a teacher, you can guide learning, share work, and manage supported student iPad. You can launch a specific app, website, or textbook page in your class. You can also send and receive documents with your class and share student work on a TV, monitor, or projector using Apple TV. You can see which apps students are working on, lock iPad into a single app, or mute audio on student devices so students stay focused. Classroom can be used for both teacher-created and admin-created classes. For the purpose of this demo, we will be sharing on teacher-created classes where no MDM solution is required. For more information about admin-created classes, please kindly contact your Apple representative for assistance. Before you get started, ensure that all teachers and student iPads are connected to the same Wi-Fi network with Bluetooth enabled. Next, download the Classroom app onto the teacher's iPad. Note that students' iPads are not required to have the Classroom app. Begin by launching Classroom on your iPad. Then, enter the name you want your students to see. Click the image icon to take or choose a photo, then click Done. Click Create Class, then enter the name for your class and an optional description. Select an icon and background color for the class, and then click Create. To edit a class, click on Edit on the top right corner. Click on this icon on the selected class to change the name, description, icon, or background color for the class. Then click Done. Now, with the new class that you have created, you can begin to invite your students to join. Click Invite Students if you are creating the class for the first time. When you make a class available for a student to add, Classroom Preferences appear in iPad OS settings on the student's iPad. On the student's iPad, go to Settings, Classroom, and tap Add Class Name. Enter the information and key in the four digital pins, and then click Add. Make sure they select Join Classes automatically so that they won't be prompted to join the class the next time and you can perform actions automatically. Always allow lock apps and device as well as AirPlay and View screen. As the students are added to your class, they will appear on your screen. A checkbox appears next to the students' names, indicating they're going to be part of this class. Click Add when ready. You can always add more students at any time. Once added, you will see a list of students on your iPad and a row of actions you can perform on your students' iPads. For starters, you can manage app usage on student devices, including opening, locking, and sharing information through various apps. You can open an app on all student devices. In the row of actions, tap Open. Tap an app in the list. You can also lock an app that is opened on a student's iPad devices and prevent the students from closing the app or opening up any other apps. Turn on Lock in App after opening, then tap to open the app. The app will now open on every student's iPad. Classroom lets you navigate students to resources within Apple Books app and share saved bookmarks directly from Safari to save time during the lesson. Tap on Navigate. Then, select Safari from the list of options. Select the bookmark that you'd like the class to view. The entire class has now been navigated to that bookmark in Safari. Classroom also makes it easy to send files to and receive from the entire class or individual students using AirDrop, or show student work on the big screen. To share files with your class, tap Share, tap AirDrop, and select your class. Vice versa, your students can share web pages and documents with you. Once they share the item with you, the share box changes color in the toolbar. Simply tap to view shared items from students. If you are connected to the projector via Apple TV, you can show the work to the big screen to the entire class using AirPlay. Besides sharing information, you can control how and when students can use their iPad, including viewing or locking the screen, to make sure that they stay on task. 
In fact, this is a great way to check in and see how students are progressing throughout the class. To view screen, tap the screen icon to view all students' screen. Students will know that you are monitoring their screen when they see the blue indicator in the status bar. You may also mute the sound and lock the screens on all the student iPads if they become distracting. Or if you want to get everyone's attention, tap mute to mute the sound. To lock devices, simply tap lock. The screen will be locked on all student devices and they will not be able to access them until you unlock them. You can also manage a single student's iPad instead of the entire class by selecting the student you wish to perform these actions on. Finally, you can use Classroom to create groups within the class to perform specific actions. You will be able to place the students into groups easily and assign different group tasks. To do this, simply tap on Group icon, enter a name for the group, and then tap the names of students who will be members of this group. A checkbox appears next to the students' names indicating they're going to be part of the group. Tap Done in the upper right-hand corner of the screen then view the new group in the row of groups. At the end of the class, you can get an overview of your students' activity during class time. Class Summary allows you to view information about the students' use of their device during the class. Tap End Classes on the top left corner and you can see the class summary. You can tap each item and view what apps were used by the students and the length of time the students used them for during the class. Items shared Documents or websites shared by the students. Student list, the list of students that participated in the class. The Apple Classroom app not only keeps lessons fun and engaging, it also provides the extra help to manage your class more efficiently and effectively than before. Hope you enjoyed this sharing session and I'll see you next time.